Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. So, are you ready for a boss fight? Because I'm sure not, but it's going to happen anyway. Last time we were playing, Salazar went and dropped us down into the sewer like an asshole. And that's where we are now. Alright, let's combine the mixture. Drop it there. Bring you down here. And... That's fine. I still have so many green herbs. I don't normally have that many. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing. As far as like my item usage. Am I getting more than usual because I suck that bad? Or are they giving me... Or have I just been using less than usual? I really don't know. So that's the crown. That's the first part of a uh, three-part item that will combine and sell for a lot of cash. Hey, Mr. Merchant. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. What are you selling? Um, let's sell our spinels. <laughs> sell the velvet blues. <laughs> sell the gold bangle, too. <laughs> but we don't want to sell the crown. And you know what? While we're in here, we're also going to sell the riot gun. Ah. Because Thank you. What are you buying? there's a new shotgun for us to buy, and it's the best shotgun in the game, the Striker. Equipped with the advantages of wide shot, it, it enables faster firing than the standard shotgun. Is that old? True story. This thing has the best wide shot of any shotgun in the game. It takes up way less inventory. As you can see, we gained six squares of inventory, which is awesome. And uh, the exclusive upgrade on this thing <laughs> Thank you. takes the uh, magazine size up to 100. So you basically never have to worry about carrying shotgun ammo again. What are you buying? Um, no. Striker, yes. Is that old strength? I'm also fairly <laughs> certain <you>. is that, old? <laughs> that Thank you. the striker has the most firepower of any shotgun. Is that old? <laughs> it's entirely possible Thank that I'm you. wrong about that, but I think that's true. If I think about it, I'll try to look that up yeah, and verify it before it the next uh, video that I record. I also wanted to mention the reason that I use the, the Broken Butterfly over the Killer 7, which is the other Magnum in the game, is because it has uh, by far the most firepower. If I'm not mistaken, the Broken Butterfly, when you upgrade it the whole way, has a firepower of 50, and the Killer 7 only has firepower of 35. Now the Killer 7 is better in every other stat, but to me a Magnum is kind of the opposite of a handgun. With the handgun, I care about having a well-rounded weapon. With the magnum, all I care about is how much damage I'm dealing with each shot. Well, that's not creepy. So yeah. I always use the broken butterfly, especially when you consider the fact that you get it for free and you don't have to spend the money on it. It just seems like the way to go. Uh, this part is legitimately creepy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of hate this part. And I'm also probably going to really get my ass kicked. Um, this is the, the boss fight that I was talking about a couple of videos ago when I said that I usually use the rocket launcher on this guy. Because I just hate this fight so much. The guy takes so much damage and it... Honestly, I feel like it screws you over a lot. Like, it's kind of hard to avoid his attacks. And a lot of times I feel like even when I am avoiding it, I get screwed over and it doesn't work anyway. So I just kind of hate it. But if you can power through it and kill him the old-fashioned way, you get to keep the rocket launcher for another big boss fight. I should probably go in here and loot. And it, you're, you're kind of rewarded for your persistence, I think. By getting to skip another another long boss fight and the one that I do save it for isn't even particularly difficult or anything it's just long and kind of a pain in the ass here we go he starts pulling this shit and you have to dodge him like every five seconds
See if I can remember exactly how to do this. Please wait approximately four minutes for the elevator to arrive. Great. Oh, you fucker. I wasn't quick enough. You can see how much damage that did to me, too. It really hurt. Alright, so you try to open this, it doesn't work. And that's when he drops down. Now what I do is just try to run right past him. Sometimes it ends up fucking you. Sometimes you get lucky like that and you're still able to dodge him. Okay, here we go. He's right behind me right now, so as soon as I close this, I'm going to try to knock over that uh, liquid nitrogen tank and freeze him. And that's when you can get your shots in on him. Fuck. And I think now you just kind of have to run around like an asshole. Oh, you fucker! I was hoping I would have time to reload that, but I didn't. Alright, let's use my full mixture. And let's mix this one up just so it's ready to roll. Oh, I really wish this thing would open. Oh god. Whoa, shit. Oh, uh, come on, please open door. I'm begging you. Fuck. See, I can swear that I hit it, but it didn't count. Oh yeah, and then they start doing it, like, a bunch of times in a row. Come on. Oh yeah, now you open. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> Woohoo, I juked him! Oh, come on, I swear I hit it. Oh, that pisses me off. Well, like I said, this fight kind of tends to screw you over every now and then. Okay, here we go. You have to do this, like, three or four times before he actually dies. Oh fuck. You can do damage to him when he's not frozen, but he takes way more damage when he is frozen. So it's definitely in your best interest to do that. Not like waste your ammo until he is frozen. I think I heard him drop down. I hope I did. <laughs> No? Oh good, there he is. Fuck me! Ah, oh, can't believe I missed two shots. That's embarrassing. Okay, now you run your ass off and get to that last tank in the spot with the actual elevator. Where you at, bro? He's gotta be close. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you! I swear to God, it. Mm. There's no way it worked the first time and just didn't work the second time. Well, I'm pretty sure that's actually the last tank, so... Oh, he's dead. Okay, good. <sighs> yeah, I would have been screwed if he had kept coming after me again after that. Whew. And now that he's finally dead, the elevator comes up. Alright, let's take a look. So, I got to keep my rocket launcher. Which is a good thing. Um, I'm not going to reload the Magnum or the TMP because I'm going to try to get the clip upgrades to uh, refill the ammo on those. 
And I still have a decent amount of healing because I have all these green herbs. So I did have to use up a lot of it. But I also have a bunch left over. And that's A-OK -okay with me. Whew, and I believe that's the end of this sickeningly long it chapter. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done. And that's Krauser, a new character who is pretty awesome. But we'll see more of him later. So yeah, that's the end of chapter 4-1. That boss fight would have went a little easier and a little quicker if I hadn't missed two magnum shots like an idiot. But, you know, it is what it is. Hit ratio, 78%. And I died twice during that chapter. Huh. <sighs> well, that's one major headache out of the way. I wasn't kidding when I said that that part really is kind of scary to me. You know, I'm a big manly man, but I, I'm also really good at like suspending my disbelief and creeping myself out at scary parts in like video games and movies. So that was a little intense. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm glad I'm through it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. As always, I'm Dude Long Couch. You can check me out at grownersgamers.com. And have a great day.